Condottieri were the leaders of the professional military free companies contracted by the Italian city-states and the papacy from the late Middle Ages and throughout the Renaissance. In Renaissance Italian, condottiero meant contractor, and was synonymous with the modern English title mercenary captain. In contemporary Italian, condottiero acquired the broader meaning of military leader, not restricted to mercenaries. In Italian historiography, Renaissance mercenary captains are usually called Capitani di Ventura. These Italian words were standard usage in English writing of the Napoleonic times that remained current in written histories until the late 20th century, because formerly employed, standing, professional armies were uncommon until late in the Napoleonic Wars thus, the word condottiere in the English language has come to denote in the modern sense, any hired soldier. History In the 13th and 14th centuries, the Italian city-states of Venice, Florence, and Genoa were very rich from their trade with the Levant, yet possessed woefully small national armies. In the event that foreign powers and envious neighbors attacked, the ruling nobles hired foreign mercenaries to fight for them. The military service terms and conditions were stipulated in a condotta between the city-state and the soldiers, thus, the contracted leader, the mercenary captain commanding, was titled the condottiere. From the 11th to the 13th century, European soldiers led by professional officers fought against the Muslims in the Crusades. These crusading officers provided large-scale warfare combat experience in the Holy Land. On the Crusaders' conclusion, the first Masnada appeared in Italy. Given the profession, some Masnade were less mercenaries than bandits and desperate men. These Masnada were not Italian, but German, from the Duchy of Brabant, and from Catalonia and Aragon. The latter were Spanish soldiers who had followed King Peter III of Aragon in the War of the Sicilian Vespers in Italy in October 1282, and, post-war, remained there, seeking military employment. By 1333 other mercenaries had arrived in Italy to fight with John of Bohemia as the Compagnia della Colomba in Perugia's war against Arezzo. The first well-organized mercenaries in Italy were the Ventura companies of Duke Werner von Ersling and in Count Conrad von Landau. Werner's company differed from other mercenary companies because its code of military justice imposed discipline and unequal division of the contract's income. The Ventura company increased in number until becoming the fearsome great company of some 3,000 barbute. The first mercenary company with an Italian condottiero as its chief was the Company of St. George formed in 1339 and led by Lodricio Visconti. This company was defeated and destroyed by Lucino Visconti of Milan in April 1339. Later, in 1377, a second Company of St. George was formed under the leadership of Alberico da Barbiano, also an Italian and the Count of Conero, who later taught military science to condottieri such as Braccio da Montone and Giacomozzo Attendolo S. Forza, who also served in the company. Once aware of their military power monopoly in Italy, the condottieri bands became notorious for their capriciousness and soon dictated terms to their ostensible employers. In turn, many condottieri, such as Braccio da Montone and Muzio S. Forza, became powerful politicians, as most were educated men acquainted with Roman military science manuals. They began viewing warfare from the perspective of military science rather than that of valor or physical courage, a great, consequential departure from chivalry, the traditional medieval model of soldiering. Consequently, the condottieri fought by outmaneuvering the opponent and fighting his ability to wage war, rather than risk uncertain fortune, defeat, capture, death, in battlefield combat. The earlier, medieval condottieri developed the art of war into military science more than any of their historical military predecessors, fighting indirectly. 
not directly, thus only reluctantly endangering themselves and their enlisted men, avoiding battle when possible, also avoiding hard work in winter campaigns, as these all reduce the total number of trained soldiers available, and was detrimental to their political and economic interest. Niccolo Machiavelli even said that condottieri fought each other in grandiose, but often pointless and near bloodless battles. However, later in the Renaissance the condottieri line of battle still deployed the grand armoured knight and medieval weapons and tactics after most European powers had begun employing professional standing armies of pikemen and musketeers. This helped to contribute to their eventual decline in destruction. In 1347, Cola di Rienzo had Werner von Ersling in executed in Rome, and Conrad von Landau assumed command of the Great Company. On the conclusion of the Peace of Bretagne between England and France, Sir John Hawkwood led an army of English mercenaries, called the White Company, into Italy, which took a prominent part in the confused wars of the next thirty years. Towards the end of the century the Italians began to organize armies of the same description. This ended the reign of the purely mercenary company, and began that of the semi-national mercenary army which endured in Europe till replaced by the national standing army system. In 1363, Count von Landau was betrayed by his Hungarian soldiers, and defeated in combat by the White Company's more advanced tactics under commanders Albert Sturz and John Hawkwood. Strategically, the Barbutha was replaced with the three-soldier, mounted launcher, five lance composed a posta, five post composed a bendira. By that time, the campaigning condottieri companies were as much Italian as foreign. The Astori Manfredi's Compagnia della Stella, a new company of saint. George under Ambrogia Visconti, Niccolo da Montefeltro's Compagnia del Capoletto, and the Compagnia della Rosa, commanded by Giovanni da Buscareto and Bartolomeo Gonzaga, from the 15th century hence. Most condottieri were landless Italian nobles who had chosen the profession of arms as livelihood. The most famous of such mercenary captains was the son of Caterina S. Forza. Giovanni dal Bandnera, from Falai, known as the last condottiere. His son was Cosimo Ida, Medici, Grand Duke of Tuscany, besides noblemen. Princes also fought as condottieri, given the sizable income to their estates, notably Sigismondo Malatesta, Lord of Rimini, and Federico da Montefeltro, Duke of Urbino. Despite wartime inflation, soldiers' pay was high, 1,900 monthly florins in 1432. Micheletto Attendolo, 6,600 monthly florins in 1448. William VIII of Montferrat, from Francesco S. Forza, the enlisted soldier's pay was 3,300 florins, half that of an officer's. 33,000 yearly scudi for 250 men in 1505, Francesco II Gonzaga, 100,000 yearly scudi for 200 men in 1505, Francesco Maria I della Rivera, the condottieri company commanders selected the soldiers to enlist, the condotta was a consolidated contract, and, when the firm elapsed, the company entered an Aspetta period, wherein, the contracting city-state considered its renewal. If the condotta expired definitively, the condottiere could not declare war against the contracting city-state for two years. This military business custom was respected because professional reputation was everything to the condottieri. A deceived employer was a reputation, ruined, likewise for maritime mercenaries whose contrated d'Assento stipulated naval military service terms and conditions, sea captains and sailors so contracted were called a centista. Their principal employers were Genoa and the Papal States, beginning in the 14th century, yet, Venice considered it humiliating to so employ military sailors, and did not use naval mercenaries, even during the greatest danger in the city's history. In 15th century Italy, the condottieri were masterful lords of war. During the wars in Lombardy, Machiavelli observed, 
None of the principal states were armed with their own proper forces. Thus the arms of Italy were either in the hands of the lesser princes, or of men who possess no state, for the minor princes did not adopt the practice of arms from any desire of glory, but for the acquisition of either property or safety. The others, being bred to arms from their infancy, were acquainted with no other art, and pursued war for emolument, or to confer honor upon themselves. History I. 7. In 1487, at Caliano, the Venetians successfully met and acquitted themselves against the German Landsnechter and the Swiss infantry, who then were the best soldiers in Europe. Decline. In time, the financial and political interests of the condottieri proved serious drawbacks to decisive bloody warfare. The mercenary captains often were treacherous, tending to avoid combat and resolve fights with a bribe, either for the opponent or for themselves. Towards the end of the 15th century, when the large cities had gradually swallowed up the small states, and Italy itself was drawn into the general current of European politics and became the battlefield of powerful armies, French, Spanish and German, the condottieri, who in the end proved quite unequal to the gendarmerie of France and the improved troops of the Italian states, gradually disappeared. The soldiers of the condottieri were almost entirely heavy-armoured cavalry. Before 1400, they had little or nothing in common with the people among whom they fought and the disorderly conduct and rapacity seem often to have exceeded that of medieval armies. They were always ready to change sides at the prospect of higher pay. The enemy of today might be the comrade in arms of tomorrow. Further, a prisoner was always more valuable than a dead enemy. As a consequence, their battles were often as bloodless as they were theatrical. Splendidly equipped armies were known to fight for hours with hardly the loss of a man. The decline of the condottieri began in 1494, with the first great foreign invasion in a century. The French king, Charles VIII's royal army matched the divided Italian city-states and their smaller condottieri armies. The most renowned condottieri fought for foreign powers. Gian Giacomo Trivolzio abandoned Milan for France, while Andrea Doria was admiral of the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. In the end, failure was political, rather than military, stemming from disunity and political indecision, and, by 1550, the military service condotta had disappeared while the term condottiere remained current denominating the great Italian generals fighting for foreign states, men such as Gian Giacomo Medici, Ambrogio Spinola, Marc Antonio Tucolona, Raimondo Montecucli and Prospero Colonna were prominent into the 16th and the 17th centuries. The political practice of hiring foreign mercenaries, however, did not end. For example, the Vatican's Swiss Guards are the modern remnants of a historically effective mercenary army. Distinguished condottieri, Roger de Flor, Malatesta da Veraccio, Castruccio Castricani, Lord of Lucca, Cangranda della Scala, Walter Vibrienne, Sir John Hawkwood, Giovanni Ordalafi from Philae, Astori Manfredi, Alberico da Barbiano, Johann II, Facino Cain de Casal, Angelo Brolio da Lavallo, a.k.a. Tartaglia, Andrea Forti Bracci, a.k.a. Braccio da Montone, Muzio Attendolo, a.k.a. Sforza, Francesco Busson da Carmagnola, a.k.a. Count of Carmagnola, Giovanni Vitaleschi, Erasmo da Nani, a.k.a. Gatamellata, Niccolo Piccinino, Micheletto Attendolo, Francesco S. Forza, Sigismondo Malatesta, Bartolomeo Colliana, Federico III da Montefeltro, Vitalozzo Vitelli, Olivero Togli Fraducci, Cesare Borgia, Niccolo di Pitigliano, Bartolomeo Dalviano, Gio Matteo Natoli, Ettore Fiera Mosca, Gian Giacomo Trivolzio, Giovanni Dal Bandnera, 
Ferrante Gonzaga, Carlo I. Malatesta, Victor at Motta in 1412, Farinata degli Uberti by Andrea del Castagno, showing a 15th century condottiero's typical attire. Bartolomeo Colliona defeated the French at Bosco Marengo 1447. Ambrogio Spinola, one of the last of the condottiere tradition. Principal battles of the condottieri. Battle of Philae, a French army, for the Pope, against Guido I da Montefeltro, for Philae. Battle of Montecatini. Battle of Parabiago, Lodricia Visconti's, Company of Saint. George for Verona, against Lucino Visconti and Ettore da Panago for Milan. War of the Eight Saints. Cecina Bloodbath, Papal and Breton mercenaries under John Hawkwood slaughtered more than 2,000 citizens of Cessna. Battle of Castagnara, Giovanni or de la Fee for Verona, against John Hawkwood, for Padova. Battle of Casalecchio, Alberico da Barbiano, for Milan, against Muzio Attendolo and others for the Bolognese Florentine League. Battle of Motta. Battle of Sant Gidio, Braccio da Montone, for himself, against Carlo I Malatesta, for Perugia. Battle of Maclaudio, Count of Carmagnola, for Venice, against Carlo I Malatesta, for Milan. Battle of San Romano, Niccolo da Tolentino, for Florence, against Francesco Piccinino, for Siena. Battle of Anghiari, Niccolo Piccinino, for Milan, against Florence, Papal States and Venice, under Micheletto Attendolo. Battle of Bosco Marengo, Battle of Crivola, Battle of Fornovo, Italian League against Charles VIII of France. Battle of Agnadello, Bartolomeo d'Alviano, for Venice, against France and Italian League. Battle of Pavia, Spain against France. Battle of Marciano, Gian Giacomo Medici for Florence and the Holy Roman Empire against Piero Strozzi for Siena and France. The Wars of Castro, between Popes Herban VIII and Innocent X and the Duchy of Parma.